that occurred in Good for Wacting on the east coast of Damara last night. According to the woman's relatives, it all started after she opted to end their abusive relationship of several years. The vicious assault was carried out in the presence of her sister and two children. So many times I see this thing, domestic violence in the papers. I say, one like this happened to me. And look what happened. And just to go back a bit, I lock up this guy. I got this guy locked up three times. You know, I took him to the station. I got police to lock him up. And lo and behold, as soon as I turn my back, most times, you know, sometimes the police will lose him. Sometimes, you know, my sister will go back and ask, you know, to, you know, man, see how they could make up the story and so. But, you know, I got this guy locked up three times. But I was told that she finally decided to leave him. And earlier in the day, she went and got a medical because he hit her with a hammer. And she said, look, this relationship finished, you know. And I was called by my daughter and she told me to come quickly and come at the Georgetown Hospital. When I came at the Georgetown Hospital, my daughter was already dead and also her other sister was stabbed in the heart and chopped down to the bone and she is hospitalized. Relatives are reporting that the two had an argument early in the day and Allison had to leave the home for safety. On return, she was confronted by the suspect who whipped out a knife and began stabbing her. She attempted to run, but was cornered. Her sister and her son were also stabbed after coming to her assistance. Both are receiving medical attention at the GPHC. I just want to make, I just want to make an appeal to the general public out there. You in an abusive relationship, get out. Don't wait for this to happen. It could happen to you. 14 sub wounds, three to her heart and one in her eyes and the rest over her body. Persons in and out of parliament have been pushing the administration to put systems in place to offer more protection to women who are trapped in abusive relationships. Social groups like Red Thread and Help and Shelter have been encouraging women to speak out against all forms of domestic abuse. Reporting for Capital News, Royce and Driggs.